Welcome back, guys. It's Deanna Owens here. Make sure you follow me on Sinatra One on Instagram and also SinatraOne.com. All right, so we're talking silk base closures and lace closures today, right? Um, this is something that's been huge. I only thought I could do a silk base closure because the lace was just obviously out of my league. You can look at the, my pictures of the closures. And I mean, mind you, it is Arjuni here. I was extremely satisfied. But there was something that I wanted to master. Um, I was very happy with the silk base closure, but I was always trying to figure out how in the world do people actually make these lace closures look like their scalp. So I found it out yesterday. Here is the finished product. I got to glad my closure from wigsroyal.com. This is what I started out with. They say that the actual knots come already bleached. Um, I didn't really understand what that meant because I'm so used to seeing like blonde or like a slight uh, brown tint to the lace and I did find that taking pictures with a flash on my iPhone really helped me get through this whole journey. Um, I started using tape. I was like let me try some masking tape, make it my foundation color and it didn't work. I mean it was okay but it didn't. It made me see everything I usually see on YouTube. This is what I saw on the lace after I actually dyed the, um, the knots or bleached the knots. I hadn't tinted the lace to my exact color yet but I wanted to see what it looked like. This is after I tinted the lace to my color with Rit dye. I used only the tan. I did not use any dark brown. And I kept putting it up to my skin um, to make sure that it matched. My hands are black because I actually dyed my closure from the medium brown that it was to the black. Here's the big thing. I sewed my lace closure down to my wig. So one of the main things was how can I do this to where my wig looks like it's mine and not a wig. Um, I also started taking pictures and trying to see where the flaws were with the flash and I did notice the piece of lace that was still um, sticking out so I started pulling in adjusting it and also sewing that down to the sides and I finally got it to the way that I wanted it to look I want to go back to that wig um, the wig was split in half so that way I can actually um, not show any type of the black uh, part of the, the wig and I just want to make sure that the lace only showed where my part was at here is my face with the finished product um, I was very happy I went ahead and I got dressed for an event and um, loved it. Love it, love it, love it. I wanted to make sure that it looked just like my scalp so I parted my hair straight down the middle, braided my hair down to the side. No very hard pattern. My hair is probably less than two inches long or less than three inches long and this protective style is really going to help me grow my hair out. Um, I even pulled my hair back into a slick ponytail um, to show off the part and of course you gotta get the mirror pictures in the bathroom when I was at the club uh, for the event. Uh, Spencer, one of my best friends uh, that you guys see all the time, it was her first runway show and I was out there to support her. Um, and I came home, took a couple pictures before I went to sleep and I uh, wanted to show you guys on Instagram how my night went. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Much love. Remember, it's so not your one on the Instagram and follow at Deanna underscore Owens on Twitter. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye.